so. It's time. Are you ready? Yes. I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Take this to remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Remind me of you, of everything you did, and how you helped prepare me for this day. Thank you. Heavier than it looks, but the cord is strong. May all mother bless you, Aloy. Day of all days. I have to keep my mind on the proofing. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on?
It's you, isn't it? It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Tep. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Who do those Karja think they are coming here? Sorry about After that. everything they did, huh? Yeah. Hello, Aloy. What you have in mind? Goodbye for now, and good luck in the proving. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Peace. It's peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude 
Written Killers by the and slavers! Of yeah! Sun King yeah. Of Killers us. and slavers! Hey, hey! Hold your power. fruit, nor, uh, nor a faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bum. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! Yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Okay, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <clears throat> People of Fedora, the the on the no, eve of your proving, all the worthless no, the Karja stand the with you amends. as the I sun fly chains frames the stoutest trees. Unknown device as detected. those you have What's nurtured. Take their places among your friends, just like mine. We join your friends, forgive them. but they will stand tall in the sun. Where did he find a I am grateful for your audience to be taken into your embrace. He's wearing a focus, just like mine. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, oh, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll. I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. We might even give the Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but... You really calm the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. 
But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. What else do you know about Olin? Well, is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but I mean, you're... Uh, what? You... Anyway, I have... Did you see those Karja walk past? May all mother forget them and all their worthless deeds. What harm can they do now? are in place. <clears throat> Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. <laughs> Blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. In honor of my mother, whose name I would know if she hadn't abandoned me at birth. Oh, mother, hear our prayer! What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Olin. I have some questions for him. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. 
I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me, that's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Are we supposed to forget what the Karja did to our tribe? Oh, mother, give me strength! Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very pregnant here! <clears throat> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. I forgot which beer was my favorite. So I'm gonna have to try them all. Where's your bite, oh, outcast? Aw, oh, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. 
It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. So, your first day in Mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It's loud, and it stinks, and the people are... idiots. Mm -hmm. All these people who kept me out. Here I am, stuck inside with them. I think you'll find more to like in the days ahead. Get some rest. Ready yourselves! What will it take to get you out of here?
is shattered, outcast. Looks like you'll need another. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urbala, but you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just stop now. Right there. There! Gotta catch up! Who's in the lead? I can't see! Boss! The ball are right behind! On now. Faster. Stop dragging. Hey, gotta keep going. The outcast. The real trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. Look. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? This is gonna be close. Hurry, keep at it. I've trained my whole life for this. They had a try, but I had the wild precision. Not enough. Must be perfect. Let them beat me now! She didn't win! The outcast cheated! An outcast? Win the proving? Never! For she is a brave now. We did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, 
And now Brave, who is first among <laughs> survivors. For Two all arms. mother! Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? Shame to take the cover. They are but infants. Fall before the shadow. Descend while we have a chance. Get back! Everyone, forward! 
Dying. <gasps> to figure there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. No. <laughs> 